It's supposed to be a moment What good is being the one When you the only one that knows it What's good, goofy ass niggas? How y'all mother feeling? This goat guy swan in this <laughs> And y'all can thank I, my nigga, because this complaining ass nigga named Young Swan Swan, you know, I have been extremely persistent complaining like no other nigga, you know, in this community and this whole YouTube shit about us needing to know the requirement for each archetype and position to the point to where I'm calling developers bitches and all that shit, my nigga. We need to know the the minimum requirement. No, no, no. The maximum height you can be and speed boost with each archetype. I've been very vocal. I call niggas all types of hoes. I'm, I'm ruining my position in future 2K development. For you niggas, so we can get answers. So I need a W in the comment section. I don't know if it's cause of me, but I've been very vocal, by the way, okay? So I got this, this news for you niggas, man. We gonna talk about each of these positions. So you can be a dribble god on each little position, man. You can speed boost. We, we don't really have an in-depth talk, so be sure to watch through the whole video. You might learn something from Sensei Swante, IQ, Go God Legend impeccable as swan tech you feel me but uh <laughs> anyways the nigga on the screen is a 610.4 okay small four you know uh, yeah you know you see it's different badges but anyways so 86 is the ball control you need to unlock tier th three dribbling which is just speed boosting i don't know the limitations or depths of this speed boosting but there's a there's a higher tier. It's not called tier four, but it's called like elite dribble moves or some shit, something like that. I don't know, nigga. But you get special signature styles, basically, is what it means. And you apparently move at the, the same speed. So I do not have the information to know if these elite dribble moves are gonna be worth it. Because you're 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 basically taking off inches off your height, my nigga. And that's very beneficial in defense, body of niggas, takes, shooting, just, you know. And e even though you, w when you go smaller, you it might look for guards, okay? When you go smaller, it might look like you're, I mean, like it says you're faster, but you're actually not because your legs are shorter, okay? So these niggas, like, it's hard to explain. Like, like last year, I mean, in 16, niggas was thinking five sevens were so fast. Them niggas were, they weren't moving. They looked like they were moving fast, but they really weren't. Six sevens was, you know that, you, you feel me? Uh, you not going nowhere, nigga. <laughs> you remember when niggas putting out the five seven builds? <laughs> I'm telling you, you better be careful who you listen listen to nigga niggas is crazy but anyways bro so 610.4 he only unlocks the 86 we're gonna talk about the the 90 ball control towards the end he only unlocks the 86 i don't know how dominant this nigga might be but a 610.4 is always a safe but i don't know if his shooting gonna be even enough to pull off we'll see my nigga we'll see according to annoying um a playmaker is going to be able to have a 79.3 and a shot maker is going to be able to have an 83 so it's not that far off and then like like at maxed out okay and the mid range is going to be like a 75 or something according to annoying man so you know i was deeming the nigga and all that shit now the biggest uh playmaking shot creator could be this is with primary playmaking and shot creator for the 86 is six nine so i'm gonna I'm show y'all that archetype now this would be the six nine playmaking shot creator okay he has the 86 speed boost tier three dribble shit you know i don't know you know i don't know much about this nigga um i know when you switch shot creating and passing the ball handling the only plus you get when when you have pass uh playmaking as primary 
is you get speed, ball control, and if your ball control is higher, that basically means you could be taller than niggas who primary and shot created. All you do is get speed. Literally everything else is lower. Literally. Like, dead ass. Okay? Now I'm going to show you all the, another position, man. Now, the tallest you could be for a playmaking slasher is... M matter of fact, let me go to the... Let me see. I should have started off the whole video like this. Let me show y'all the the elite dribble niggas, okay? Cause that's what really matter. I I done messed up the whole video, my nigga. Let me show y'all the elite niggas, and then I'll talk about the eighty six ass niggas, okay? Okay. So the tallish you can be for a playmaker to unlock the ninety dribble moves is six eight. That means you have to be a shooting guard. You have the exact same badges. From, from what I see, it, it it's the badge totals are the same. So I don't know if it, if it differs, but the 6'8 shooting guard playmakers, that's the tallest you could be. Now, when I make a playmaker, he will be 6'8". Um, I'm not decided about my weight. I'm trying to get more information, bro. You know, every year they try and make it seem like weight matters. And, and it doesn't. I mean... Uh, it might matter for centers and shit, but who knows for guards, bro? Like, it makes sense to make it to where, you know, big body niggas matter. Because, like, if you see LeBron driving, he gets that blow through type shit. Pause. And then when you see, like, other niggas driving, it's more of a finesse, you know? Or you, like, you'll see them get bodied and shit. But they, I don't know why they're taking so long to implement into that into the game. But anyways... Here's another position that y'all y'all don't really know about. Everybody is with the shot makers, um, you know, primary shot makers, then ball handling. And I told y'all before, the speed, okay? You'll get more speed, so you'll be able to be taller and still be able to maybe shoot. But literally everything else goes down. The tallest you could be is 6'7", okay? Now... People might be sleeping on this. You never know, bro. You never know. Because you, you, that speed could make a difference, bro. Like, you, may, maybe you can't ISO with the shot playmaking nigga. But what if you can ISO with this nigga? That makes a difference. Especially if defense is improved and three pointers are really down and niggas can't hit threes. You know, if niggas can't hit threes, ISO is going to be like better. Like, you know, you'll have more options to score, you know? It won't just be niggas cheesing with three. So, most niggas are going to start taking twos and dunks. So, you're going to need those fast dunking positions, okay? When you could just do a one-on-one -on -one and go for a two. So, who knows it? this nigga's capabilities, bro? And look, 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 look. I might make a whole video about this again. I've mentioned it in several of my videos. So far from what I know, my nigga, you can't see your attributes until you purchase everything on your nigga in the playground. This is easily the scummiest thing 2K has ever done. The biggest rip off in 2K history, my nigga. Okay? You guys need to, you can't let this slide. You have to be outraged. Or nothing's gonna change. A lot of y'all niggas be like, don't complain. Closed mouths don't get fed, nigga. Okay? Be very vocal about what you don't like in life. When it's a video game, when it's your b whatever, my nigga. Be vocal. Express your thoughts. And fuck every, every other little loony bitch ass, I don't care about the world ass nigga. You feel me? This is an outrage. If it's really like this, the community has to go crazy. Or they'll do it again. They'll be like, it wasn't that big of an outlash. You know? You have to go crazy, my nigga. Tweets, videos, you creators, you have a platform, do something. Okay? They're they're literally like robbing kids, my nigga. The only nigga I seen make a video about this, and it was Witness Gaming. He caught on to it later on. And it's like, bruh. There's so many archetypes. You can't look at your attributes. What these niggas are gonna do, like little kids, they're gonna make a player, get the get the money from their mommy. <laughs> hey mommy, can I have a $20 PSN card, mommy? Ah, oh, so 
shut your little ass up, nigga. But anyways, <laughs> bro, I gotta calm down, dude. <laughs> but then they're gonna see like, oh man, this YouTuber, he got this number, and then everybody gonna be juicing all these builds to get these views, and niggas just gonna be making, and then they gonna find out attributes, are, but at least when you see the attributes, you can avoid making so many archetypes. Like, you can start to think for yourself. This is like some scammy shit, bro. Like, what sense does that make? You have to purchase the nigga to see his attributes. It don't matter if they, they saying, um, just pick your play style, head ass. No. Attributes matter, my nigga. They always matter. That's how you guesstimate so much. Okay? Let, let, let's, let's get back into this. Now, to be a speed boost and slash, you have to be 6'5", primary. Here, here's your, here's your badges, my nigga. So, you want to yam on niggas? You want to be a slasher? You got to be 6'5", okay? When it, if you want to be a speed boost and post score, my nigga. And wait, these are for elite dribble moves, by the way. Elite. So apparently, slasher's going to have elite. If you want elite dribble moves and you want to be a post score on that, nigga, I don't know how effective this going to be. Hope, I don't even know about hopefully because this could be some cancer and shit. 6'5", nigga. You know, young Kobe in this thing, young Melo. And um, yeah, man, if you want to be a speed boosting, play making sharp, my nigga, 6'5". Six 6'5", five. Six five, okay? If you want to be a shot creating playmaker, 6'5", my nigga, 6'5". Now, the first nigga I'm making, a rip. I'm making a 6'5 playmaker, my nigga. I'm making this nigga, bro, okay? I'm not sure if I'm gonna max out his weight. Stay tuned, my nigga. My second build most likely is going to be a 6'8 shooting guard playmaker. I don't know about the weight yet. I'm leaning more towards maxing my shit out and really testing it and taking the L for you niggas, bro. I'm really in, bro. I don't know, man. Y'all let me know in the comment section how y'all feel. What position you gonna make, man? I wanna know y'all's insight on these builds, man. Let a nigga know, man. Let's get a good, let's get a discussion, man. And the third position I'm gonna make, maybe a play shooter, and then the fourth, some type of post score. See, I heard from Young Annoying, by the way, a post scoring shot creator. See, I didn't know if his rebound would be able to be like an 80. He said it would be an 80. So them niggas could be like godlike, cause that, that high midi, post cheese. I don't know, man. I don't know, but I'm definitely making a post score, but yeah <laughs> let's get into the other 86 builds if you just want that that normal speed boost you still be at the same speed from what i know my nigga okay now the tallest speed boost and slasher you could be is six eight so this shit it look it really matters my nigga if the dribble moves aren't worth it i'm making these taller builds of these positions bro okay just like that my nigga because height matters, bro. It always matters. The only year it didn't matter was last year when, when niggas are speed boosting sharps or sharps. And what people don't realize is you don't, your height no longer matters when you're in a battle of screens. Your, your defense isn't that much at, you know, like it's the same for everybody. In, in the end, in the grand scheme, nigga, you could be any height. If you're getting open threes, like, like, it's to a point to where you have to two up the nigga. He's getting an open dunk or an open board or an open dump off or an open three. That's how cancerous and bad 17 was, okay? Shouldn't have been like that. Everybody fuck hurry. Get the fuck out of here, bro. I hope it's not like that. So it's more, you know, balanced and fair and not boring. Um, But yeah, man. The tallest baby Kobe, Kobe you could be in this thing is six seven now i don't this is for small forwards i'm in the small forward thing right now i'm not in a shooting guard so i don't know like how tall it lets you be but um or like the badge difference matter of fact let me go there. here are the badges for the shooting guard uh young kobe nigga and you can speed boost at six seven for play making three point okay the tallest you could be is six six my nigga okay six six for a playmaking defender you can speed boost with that nigga 
<laughs> six five, bro. <laughs> I don't know if these are the right badges because I'm on the shooting guards. Wow, you can make a speed boost and rebounder, my nigga. Okay. Um. <laughs> six five. Six five speed boost and rebounder. Uh. <laughs> the tallest you can be for a shot creating playmaker is six eight. Okay. Now, definitely, if those badges don't make that much of a difference i will not be 65 i will be going to 68 shooting guard my nigga well not the badges the elite dribble moves they don't make that much of a difference big boy big boy swan now to make a speed boost and pure shot creator my nigga you have to be 65 or shorter a lot of people they a lot of people haven't been talking about pure archetypes man what archetypes y'all think are gonna be the best? You think Pure gonna be able to be that guy again? Cause this Pure shot credit easily the best position in the game. Just overall, if you learn it, he will, he was that guy, bro. Not even gonna hold you. Same with post scores, bro. Niggas just wasn't using them, bro. Now, if you want a speed boosting, shot creating slasher, six four or shorter. Look at that dunk. This nigga could be this nigga could be vicious, bro. You feel me? He could be real vicious on the twos. Cause you know he got them posterizer animations. And he gonna be a cheese head. He could be vicious. He could be something lethal. You feel me? I don't know, bro. It, bro, honestly, dude, this shit hurts my head. I recommend you niggas. Man, I don't even know what to recommend, bro. Y'all niggas just make like one, let YouTubers around for like two weeks, a week, and then like that's I don't know, bro. It's it's all up to you what your bank account looking like, man. <laughs> now, if you want a speed boost and slashing playmaker, six four or shorter. Um, yeah. So, yeah, bro. That's the. That's the video, my nigga. Y'all be sure to like and subscribe if you know. Um, if you made it this far, type um in the comment section, plug swan. Um, go sub to my second channel. Um, cancer will be there. Pure, unedited, uncensored swan. I'm gonna be posting a lot of gameplays from 18. A lot of just straight raw cursing, like OD. Be sure to follow me on Twitch. Go sub to that nigga Young Steezo. Link in description. Fun to burn, man. No more stunning. I mean, I'm stunning, Junior. Yeah. That's all I know. That's all I ever knew. Get money or get nothing. You know what I'm saying? And I feel that way. Feel For real. So hard I go, I keep pushing. Yeah. The game's so crazy, I'm in it like deep pussy. Yeah. I got chips, I'm trying to get the whole pussy.